As you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like <laughs> Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Sports biggest superstar enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight that UFC championship belt. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz. But this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sugar Sean O'Malley set to fight the notorious Conor McGregor. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the winning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, Sean O'Malley has been a notorious fast starter in the UFC thus far. It is something his corner has prioritized once again here tonight. Let's see if O'Malley can lead the dance and dictate the pace here early. Strike blocked by Sean O'Malley. 
Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you. That can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so active. Right through the air, he lands the knee. Another big knee. Time to kick. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by McGregor. Back and forth we go. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Rock him, suck him out of the street here. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Protect your face. Move, move, move. Protect your face. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Ooh, big knee. Give me those body shots. Just over three minutes to go round one. Pretty good jab there by McGregor. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by McGregor. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Under two minutes to go. Man, his jab is good. There it is. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. So 35 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Oh! I want that takedown now. Oh, McGregor's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Nice jab there by O'Hara. All right, so there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you can think that he's setting him up to go up top. Oh. Oh. Well, it has been all Sean O'Malley here tonight, and there are a lot of reasons why this guy is popular. The chief among them, his crowd pleasing style. He's got a great style. He's got a great style. He's not a guy that's forcing takedowns. He's not a guy that's just winging punches. He's doing everything at a super high level. And it is his striking accuracy that really does allow for him to pull ahead of his opponents. Ten seconds now in round one.
Watch, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. In the previous round, he rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can piggyback on that momentum. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent hurt real bad, but he cannot rush. He still has to understand that a live fighter is in front of him. Otherwise, he'll find himself on the wrong side of a knockout. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an atom bomb. Like, he hits people, and they fall down and he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoes. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register that. <laughs> Big shot lands for both guys. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. left hand by Conor McGregor. He has found the range here. Early seems to be in outstanding shape, largely courtesy of his McGregor Fast program. But this is a guy who has maintained the MMA work ethic despite all of the recent demands on his time. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Spinning back fist is there. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. Drew a flying knee to the head. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Under two minutes here to go in round two. Massive knee lands from Tyler. Oh, and another knee by McGregor. Wow, what a kick! Take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, roundhouse kick. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished. McGregor's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Well, he is at his kickboxing desk tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Back kick there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down 
That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reaction now as we go forward. Final seconds here of round two. Beautiful head kick lands for this guy. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Gregor's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. O'Malley gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on this. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful. Is hurting for certain. Boom! Big jab. Big combination. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Three minutes to go in round three. That's a good kick by him right there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. O'Malley's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, McGregor's now switching his stance. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activities and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Oh, 
Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. The nose is already damaged, and that strike ain't gonna help matters. McGregor's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Final seconds of round three. Straight left counter finds its home. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. You and then you hit me back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've pulled on. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. That high kick gets you spinning. Great landing. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally, he is knocked back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Now he's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. from that cut with each strike landed and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving. So you oh! Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that.
Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produces another knockout. Conor McGregor will tell you that he's going to knock you out, and he goes out there, and he does it. Hats off to Conor McGregor and all of his coaches for another massive victory in another huge spot in his UFC career.